There's this crazy restaurant in Japan where you can borrow a fishing rod to catch your own fish from this tank and ask the restaurant staff to cook your catch. But Jimmy, that sounds insanely fun. Well, that's because it is insanely fun. In this video, I'm going to one of those fishing restaurants called Tsurikichi in Osaka and I'm going to channel all of the primal energy that runs in my blood for the deadliest catch that I'm going to find today and hopefully enjoy some delicious Japanese dishes when I do. Will I make it? You're gonna have to watch the video to find out. Oh, hey guys, it's me. All thanks to you guys, my YouTube channel has been doing pretty well recently. But because of that, it's been really difficult to find time to relax. But there's one game that I play to relax and unwind throughout the day, and it's called Royal Match. And yes, it's our sponsor of the day. Royal Match is a fun match 3 puzzle game that you can play, where you help King Robert rebuild his castle. It's super easy to pick up and start playing, and I personally like to play whenever I have a small window of time while I'm working, because I feel like it helps me reset my stress level. And thank God it's free to play and it doesn't have annoying advertisements that ruins the gameplay. And you can even enjoy it without internet connection. So I play it a lot when I'm doing cardio at the gym where internet connection isn't very strong. It's simple, it's fun, it makes me feel relaxed. So guys, do this for yourself. Download Royal Match using the link in description. You know if you're supporting my sponsor, you're supporting me too. And thanks again Dream Games for sponsoring this video. And now, Let's go catch some Japanese fish. Okay, so what is this place? So the idea of this restaurant is very simple. The restaurant has a giant fish tank filled with fish. And using the fishing rod and the bait that they give you, you can fish these guys out of the fish tank. Each of the fish has its own price, and you have to pay for the fish when you catch them. The restaurant will cook the fish for you for free or at a very affordable price depending on how you want it to be cooked. It's similar to other restaurants in the sense that you have your own table, but until you catch your own fish, the food's not gonna show up. All right, so we got some bait here. These are shrimps. These are not for consumption. And with that, let's pick up a fishing rod. There are two different fishing rods here, yellow and blue. The yellow is the one that uses a bait, and the blue is for snagging, which is kind of like cheating, but I love cheating, so I'll show it to you guys later. You're free to start fishing from anywhere you want, so let's get started. I heard that it's actually not that easy to catch. First, I have to pierce the shrimp with my hook. I do not like touching these guys, to be honest. Oh, look, there's the mag. Let's go for any one of these guys. It's been a while since I went fishing, so I got really excited, but there was a problem. Turns out these guys are not as dumb as they look. They just won't go for the bait. Are they like spoiled first world country people? How come they just walk by food like they don't even need it? All right, come this way. It's the spot that's not working out for me. How about these flat guys, the flunders? They look pretty hungry. Oh, look, look, he has his mouth open. Come on. He's like, oh, give me that. Don't you smell it? Oh. I have his food right in front of his face. He's not biting it. I think they're smart. I think they know they're in a restaurant. Oh, look at that one. He's ugly. I don't want that one. Lonely as hell, boy. What's wrong with him? He looks nervous. It's been like good 15 minutes, still no catch. I kept moving to different spots, hoping that at least one of them is stupid enough to take the bait. But I don't know, they should have taken SAT or something, because they're clearly smarter than most people on TikTok. Okay, maybe it's time to face the reality. I think I have officially give up on catching them in a fair competition. They're so spoiled that they simply don't want the bait. I was left with no choice but to unlock my full intelligence, which isn't considered very smart in the human world, but probably enough to go to an Ivy League school for fish, and also smart enough to pick up this snagging fishing rod. The reason that I described the blue fishing rod as cheating is because it really is cheating. It has this hook that looks like a ninja grappling hook, and you snatch the fish with it by force. Man, I feel bad. This is, this is kind of abusive. Oh, whatever. I'm a person. I can do whatever I want. Oh. I'm sorry, buddy. Oops. Oh my god. <laughs> the Japanese fish used his ninja escape technique on me, and my hook somehow ended up getting stuck on this nail on the ceiling. Well, at least I made other customers happy. It took a little while, but I was able to get the hook out of there. Uh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> That was almost magical. Well, it looks like I've underestimated these Japanese fish. It's time to start using my full power. Which one should I go for? I want a good, healthy, handsome one. Like, 
This guy right here. The nature of snagging was kind of brutal, so I felt a little bad for the fish. Man, this is so violent. I really don't want to do this. This just doesn't feel right. Okay, I like this one. This, uh, I'm gonna go for this blunder because I don't know about the other guys, but he's, he looks lonely and he doesn't seem to have anything better to do with his life anyway. Let me bring him the salvation and end his loneliness. Ah. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I cheated. You did not deserve to die. What do you say this? Thank you. If you're a little bit of a kid, it's a little bit of a kid. Yes, So once you catch a fish, you can decide how you like it to be cooked, and the staff will take it to the kitchen. It's a little bit of a kid, but it's two Okay, I'll take it. I feel like I need another one, though. I feel a little guilty, so I'm just gonna go for one more. You know, looking at these guys, they're kind of like middle class people, you know? It's like a little fish tank, and uh, they have like just enough to swim around, so it gives them like a false sense of freedom, but they're not really free. They're just like meant to exist in their endless agony. Maybe I should be jealous though. I feel stuck in lower middle class Korean life at the moment. I want the sea brim because it makes pretty good sashimi. Come on guys, let's put an end to this. How much longer do you guys want to suffer? You right here. Maybe I got him. Hold on. It looks like the one Pokemon, huh? Put to sashimi de onegaishimasu. Yasashiku shite kurasai. Please don't hurt him. I already hurt him enough. I'm sorry. The fish didn't say anything to me, but I thought I heard him say, Jimmy san, you are very good at fishing. Oh, by the way, I just wanted to randomly share this toilet design that they had. So if you flush your toilet like this, it gives you water to wash your hands with. Well, that's one way to save the environment. No environment, no fish, you know? I have to say, these guys are pretty intelligent creatures and they put up a real fight. Just not strong and intelligent enough for somebody who's very smart like me. Uh, there's, there's nothing really... There's really nothing like a good beer after a long day of fishing. Okay, I wish, I wish it was a little easier to catch the fish with an actual bait. Aside from that, this restaurant is pretty fun and it's not like insanely expensive. Yeah, I remember him. I definitely got this boy. Look at his eyes. It's like super shiny anime eyes. Hey, Chimichang, why? Chimichang, that was painful. Why me? I'm sorry, buddy. If life was so fair, there wouldn't be middle class people like us. Okay, the sashimi looks pretty legit. Let's try this. I mean, they just killed it. It's gotta be good. Oh yeah, it's really good. To be honest with you guys, I thought it might be kind of a tourist trap and their fish would be terrible. Honestly, if I had the sashimi in other places, I'd be like, oh yeah, that's really good sashimi. And there's my braised sea brim. Okay, that's what happened to the sea brim and the other half of his body became the sashimi. That doesn't look too bad, does it? This is like so much better than I thought. He has so much meat. Oh yeah, how is that, huh? Hmm. Wow, that's good fish. Steaming hot. I'm gonna have more of that sauce, the soy sauce. Wow. How about we get this sashimi, sea brim sashimi? For a restaurant with a special theme, the food was surprisingly good. Wow, that's really good fish. All right, let's try this flounder tempura. I love tempura. Wow. Overall, the food was beyond my expectations and they didn't taste gimmicky at all. With two fish and other little things included, it ended up costing me about $65, which I thought was a pretty fair deal. Okay, I thought it was gonna be one of those tourist BS. It was pretty fun and the food was definitely more than decent. So if you guys get a chance to come to Osaka, perhaps try going to a fishing restaurant. It's kind of worth it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to continue watching me, go ahead and watch my other videos. 
And if you have time, of course, listen to my songs on Spotify because that way Spotify pays me. Thank you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks again Dream Games for sponsoring this video.